Race morning, pancakes. This time, pumpkin chia ginger pancakes. I'm actually not racing this morning. I am uh, getting a jump on some longer rides, putting the racing behind me for now so I can go to Spain and be recovered enough to just jump right into some training in the warm weather. If I race this weekend, I'd have to take like two days off and uh, I think that might kill me to sit at sit in 70 degrees in sunshine and not do some big bike rides. So skipping out on the racing this weekend, but still making pancakes for M and also myself because I didn't bring any ride food so I'm gonna bring these on my ride today. It's gonna be Becky's Becky's takeover this weekend. You're gonna get Spencer's pit perspective. It's gonna be special even though I won't be there. What are you doing? Filling the water tank. Well people want to know what you do all day. Why? I don't know. People ask. I don't ask why they ask, they just want to know. Personally, I don't care, but... So I'm, I'm gonna put this on you and then you're gonna continue to do what you do. Okay. And now? Yeah. Like this? Well, no. <laughs> Alright, this is Spaceman's Perspective. I'm gonna go eat breakfast. Maybe we should take ba both of Becca's bikes today? What? I guess since she asked. All right. Carrie, I'm not gonna lie, there's gonna be like five minutes of me staring at the camera waiting for it to turn on. Okay guys, have a good day. Well, Text me if you need anything. Are you filming me? Can you make sure Spencer knows what's happening? See those numbers? That means it's counting the time you you're 20 years old. You're supposed to understand technology. Current the files will go in the computer. I understand it. It's counting up. Can you do that? <laughs> Alright, see you guys. Like the bikes on the roof in the shadow. We're here. I don't really know what to say. Carrie always says that though, so that's all I have. What kind of pressure you want to run, Becca? What do you think it's Spence? Spence? I don't know. I don't ride the bikes, Becca. Well, let's start with the course. Let's start with 22, 23? Okay. No, 22, 24, because I always feel a little low in the back. I don't actually remember what Becca said, so. Got the right tire pressure in there, Becca. Term is super sponsored correct with the sunglasses on the outside of his hat. <laughs> Look, Emily needs to learn something from Kerm. Sunglasses inside the helmet strap. Ah. Kerm. Kerm, let's go back. Let's go back. Outside of the hat. Emily just pointed out my glasses are inside my hat, so <laughs> fix it. Dialed. This is what everybody wanted to see. Emily and Becca are out for their pre-rod. And so we're just sitting around. Waiting. Waiting. Spikes. Yep. So, this is it. This is the day. We do this, we wash bikes, then we go for a walk, we stand in a field, we wash oh, bikes again, bikes. we walk back, and then we wash more bikes, we pack up, we go home. Yep. We do it again tomorrow. Yep. So, 
Yep. Becca's back. This is how many laps, Becca? That's two. I'm hoping for less grass come race time. Number one best. <laughs> Getting the old helmet prepared for pre-ride. Shout out to Siobhan Kelly. I uh, gave the old noggin a crack in Patange and we were discussing a helmet is the one piece of equipment that you don't want it to actually do its job. Uh, but my Giro Aether sacrificed itself. So here I am with a borrowed one. So Carrie wanted me to go over the course here and I don't think he realizes that he pre-rides and then has like two hours before he gets on the trainer and I have 15 minutes, seven minutes. Um, so we'll see what I can get done in that amount of time. Uh, so we start on a road as normal, but there's a 90 degree right-hand turn that kind of funnels you into an alleyway, but there's a pretty big bump in before the right-hand turn to avoid some road furniture. Through that little alleyway, make a right-hand turn up a little steep pit. And then uh, you make a right-hand turn into a sand pit. The sand pit is straight, but it's pretty deep, and I'm pretty sucky at riding sand. So I'll be running it. I'll be the only one. Uh, laugh at me. Uh, onto some pavement, make a left to parallel a building, and there's this really steep uphill that maybe the elite men are riding it, maybe the junior men, maybe some of the junior women. But I doubt any of the elite women will ride up, and it's pyramid shaped, so you have to either hop on as you're dropping down the other side or run down the other side. Take a muddy turn, uh, go by pit one, and then come down, and then immediately into stair step flyover. This part of the course, it's a series of twisty turns and sharp little ups and downs. Um, some more twisty turns, off cambers, and then you sort of shoot by pit two. And then the rest of the lap is pretty flat. Uh, with, there's the, I think they're called the Milwaukee something or another's. It's a, four steps up, one bike length flat, and then a ramp down, and then a little wise ways to coast, four steps up, ramp across, and then ramp down, and then some more flat turns before you go uh, right hand turn onto the start finish straight. This whole course is pretty awkward, but uh, I don't know. It's fun. Hopefully it looks fun for the spectators because that's why we do it. Welcome. Coming from the United States of America with number eight, Rebecca Farringer. Great women with number 37. Good success, Alex. 30 seconds. 30 seconds, Trans. And we're going to have the goal. The next time. I took Kerm out a couple times in the pit. I think he literally fell on the ground. Then he never caught my bike again. Good job with the GoPro. Yeah, thank you. Baby. You're a GoPro pro. Yeah. How was the race, uh, Kerm? It was fun. It was fun? It was fun. Yeah. So we are here with Spencer. Spencer. What's uh, up? How was the race, man? Oh, it was good. Yeah. Couldn't find any frites, though. That was no, disappointing. No frites, no, no beer. Frites. Did you find any? No. Yeah, bad Belgium race. And uh, are you happy with the race of Becca or? Uh, yeah, it was alright. Yeah, but maybe she can finish three next time. Yeah, she probably win it next time. Yeah, It'd be yeah. a lot better. Yeah, I know. I don't know why. I told her that before the race, but I guess she just didn't listen. Yeah. Good night. I mean. Good morning. Good morning. Early departure for. Brussels. Actually, not that early. It is 8 a.m. It's just Belgium outside.
there have been no races yet because I'm gonna do a recon lap and then hang out for an hour and then use a 20 minute window to hopefully get two faster laps in maybe while some lines are burned in. It's gonna be like 50 today and my skin suit is still damp on the drying rack at home. Luckily I had a thermal in my bag. I don't like thermal <laughs> unless it's like, you know, freezing or below. So I'm gonna be a little schwitzy. Am I an upside down plus sign or a weird up arrow? I'm the upside down plus sign, but I only learned that because I just saw a woman walk in here. <laughs> All right, little course recon here. Uh, University Brussels, start out on pavement and then there's a nice sweeping right hand turn uh, up through a kind of wet grassy hillside. I think first lap, a lot of people are gonna be off their bike uh, running. I don't know, I sort of forget the order of this. We might have to switch it around. Down a leafy off camber and there's a tight hairpin turn where you have to climb back up. The up is definitely a run. So the question is, are you gonna ride down to the apex of the corner? Uh, a couple little turns on the top of the hillside, not many spectators there. And then you come to the like big technical part of the course, uh, but you drop down through some leaves, a tight corner uh, across like this cobbled sidewalk that kind of deteriorates and you go down this chute across the pavement up a hill and then a right hair hairpin turn uh, then a dismount so you're running off camber and then a switchback so you're running off camber again you mount and then it drops down on the hillside and it's slick clay with leaves and so it's all slid out uh, not a lot of traction up there hi spencer i'm talking into the camera go by the pits at some point at some point, oh uh, man, where's that damn pinwheel? And then you hit the pinwheel at some point. The pinwheel is off camber, but the fun thing is put the padding on the wrong side of the posts. So you're protected in the event that you end up going uphill backwards on the course, but correct direction downhill, you're just gonna hit the post, not the padding. Um, yeah, and then I guess you start the lap over. I forgot a section in there, but whatever. It's for the vlog. Yes, I'm on the vlog. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck, Becca. Here we go, Becca. Five second, go, 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 go. How's the race going so far? Uh, you know, just standing in. Uh, All right, one lap later, race update. The pond's getting bigger, though. It is. It is. Pond update. We're back one lap later. How's it going? We got we got a, a bike truck now, but it uh, didn't hit the ground. So That's good. Do? That's yeah. good. That's a first for the season, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, so that was good. We're, we're batting above zero now. Go, Daddy, Daddy! Go, go, go! go. Do you like her? Yeah, hey, Becca. It's for the vlog. Oh, hi, Becca. All right, let's go. More cheering than this. Go, go, go. Go, Rebecca. Yeah. Woo! Go, go, go. Not a pointless race. No? No, I got points. Oh. <laughs> All right, boys. It's been real. All right. See y'all next time. Next one. Stay alive. I'm going to try. <laughs> Uh, free, please. Uh, mayo for Spencer. Thanks a lot. Oh no, he's dropping fruits from Spencer. Oh no! Oh no! For my fries, Maddie. It's your fries, Spencer. Ooh. How'd the race go, Becca? Um, my number one complaint. I don't know how Carrie wears this thermal skin suit all the time. It's so hot. He's such a weenie. It was good. It was okay. It was not bad, but it just wasn't good. We nailed the pit handoff. Yes. Nailed it. I even commentated it. Easy, easy. I yeah, that was on. That was unnecessary. Well, I just wanted to let you guys know I was really trying. Yeah. Chris didn't like that. See, not used to having riders that talk to him in the pits. 
I don't think anybody is, because usually people are too gassed. Not Becca. Coming. Okay, we're packing up bikes. Becky's finally back from racing. Yes, he's back. Back again. <laughs> I'm sorry you had I'm sorry you had to see that. My bike's already packed. Spencer's got his bike in there. We're going on the vacation for some vitamin D training to soak up the sun, put in some miles. See you guys in Spain. <laughs>